proud of the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and they, in essence, said, Moses, please tell God to stop. Lord, and when Moses prayed, the fire stopped. Lord, Moses was a mediator, and he yes, symbolized a go-between person. Lord, Moses symbolized a high priest. Lord, in the Old Testament, the job of the high priest was to go on the day of atonement into the Holy of Holies where only he could go. Lord, so when Moses, the people cried to him, they were really crying to somebody who was a shadow and type of a higher priest. Yeah. All along, and in our text tonight, Lord, Moses, if y'all hold me for a while, yeah, he's putting our attention on another mediator. And I ought to have a witness that his name is Jesus Christ. Lord, oh, I come to tell y'all tonight that Jesus is our go between. And you don't mind how can I take my time since this is my last night? Oh, Lord, first Timothy 2 and 5 says there is one God. And one mediator between God and man, and that's Jesus Christ. All of and all I'm trying to tell you tonight is like Israel, when they got caught up, they went to Moses. You can't go to God. Jesus will serve as your mediator. Oh, Lord, I come tonight to tell somebody here, no matter how many times the Lord mediates for you, you ought not to complain. Oh, Lord, the Bible says in everything, give thanks to the Lord. Can I get a read with you? Around your neighbor's neck, I don't feel better here in the mirror. Tell them you're all to be both thankful. Can I get a witness here? Change and kind of all joy. We fall in the dark of temptation, knowing this that the trying of your faith, of your faith with new patience. Can I get a witness? With a old story I heard about an old woman and her son who lived in a shotgun shack. The shack they lived in had a roof, but it had holes all in it. Lord, help me do this tonight. The old woman was able, she was not able to afford a new roof. Well, a terrible storm came, and at that storm uh, took the little roof she had off her house. The next morning, that old lady sunk in her rocking chair with a smile on her face. The son walked in and said, Mom, 
what's wrong with you? <laughs> mama, why are you smiling? Mama? And mama, why are you grinning? Because that God you're praising, he's the one who's responsible for all this. The mama said, son, what you don't understand is for years I wanted me a rule on my house. But I was never able to afford it. But a little while ago, a man came out from the federal government. And the man said, he declared our town a disaster area. Oh!